Twayna is a tool that allows you to work more smoothly between Photoshop and After Effects. Imagine you just got a PSD design from a designer, but there are only a few layers you want to import, let's say the title and the cat group. What you would normally do is that you import the entire PSD into After Effects, then delete the layers you don't need. It's okay if you only have to do this one or two times, but in reality, you might need to do this over and over again when new layer is added or if you have a lot of PSD files to deal with in one project. With Twayna, you just need to select the layers you need and press the push button, then it's done. If you use the old way to import PSD, you will encounter another problem. Now I'm going to import my PSD file again, and I choose the retain layer size. But here's the problem. Sometimes you may want to disable continuous rasterize for comps. When you toggle that, you will find out all pre-comp size are the same as the main comp, even if you choose retain layer size option in the first place, that option only apply to layers, but not for groups. And it's really hard to select your target layer unless you select from either the layer panel or use some plugin like auto crop. By toggle the C button, layer groups and clip masks you import will be auto cropped to fit the content inside it without any extra steps. Most of the time in Photoshop, we use some image asset. In order to scale it down without blurring it, we convert it to smart object. But After Effects treats these smart objects as normal layers, which means if you scale these layers up, they got blurry. And this link button just solved this problem by convert smart objects to link layers and preserve the transformation data in After Effects makes it more flexible to edit and resize. But keep in mind that smart filter is not supported, so the appearance might be different and these generated link layer files located in the same folder of your PSD file. Shapes and text will automatically convert to be editable. Layer mat will be preserved too. Twayna simply use the original layer as mat, so if you edit the content like this text layer, it won't behave as you expected. And it only works on vector layers, text layers, and smart objects. You can also use Twayna in Illustrator. Select objects, then press push button, and the layer which contains that selected object will be imported. Keep in mind that Twayna import based on layer, so multiple objects in the same layer will be considered as one single push. That's all for Twayna. Hope this tool helps your workflow to be more efficient and enjoyable. Go to ascripts.com and search for Twayna for more information.